Hey, Mike, thank you for taking your time to answer another question I got from our Facebook group. <laughs> the okay. Real Estate Bar Agents. And uh, this one is important because this one directly results into paycheck or no check. So okay. it's about prospecting. And um, I saw one agent uh, who went anonymous and I understand it and it's perfectly fine. But basically there was the sense of despair Hey, I just finished my 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 buyers and my clients, but right now, where do I get my next listing? Like, what is the easiest and fastest way? And you and I know that not always there is the easy and fast solution to the problem, but if there was, what is the straightforward path for next listing? Well, I'm looking on my desk and I don't see the easy listing button. So <laughs> I knew it. Oh no. <laughs> yep. The okay. easiest listing, if you've just finished one, is a referral from a past buyer or seller. Uh -huh. Now you've got a captive audience at the closing table. You can always ask for a referral and that will get you started. So that's the easiest. Mm -hmm. The, for me, the hardest way to get the next listing is walking a neighborhood. That is the hardest because it's either too hot, too cold, too far away. The people aren't home. It's a waste of time. So I don't do that. Okay, for me... But Okay, but yeah, let's focus on something what is productive. <laughs> the productive is short videos. Okay. Short videos. I offer uh, first-time buyer seminars. I offer seller seminars. And I offer um, buying seminars. Now, many times... I do them virtually. COVID mm -hmm. has changed and I Zoom with people that are interested in that. Mm -hmm. and, and we make them short. We make them about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that has been bringing in a tremendous number of people. Tremendous okay. meaning, oh, probably three to four a week. Wow. Now, and and now, it can be a buyer, it can be a seller. How do you advertise these uh, seminars? Facebook. Facebook, okay. And through videos. Well, I make a lot of YouTube videos and put them out there. And um, uh, they go mainly to everybody in my uh, sphere of influence, they go to anybody that is in my funnel. By do you funnel, email I mean, it? pardon? Do you email it out? Do you send an invitation? Yes. yes. Okay. So what I do is I, I get my funnel and I get, I use inbound marketing. Mm -hmm. So people are looking to me for something that they have seen online. And mm -hmm when I collect every contact and I keep them forever. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones that I really keep pounding with videos and emails and texts until they opt out. Now, why? Because they're getting to know me. They're getting to know my face. And when I send them something, if they haven't opted out, I mean, I've got several thousand in my database and they know me. They know me because of what I've sent out. So video is good. Keep doing market updates, but do it on video. Mm -hmm. do, do the seminars, answer questions online. Do things that on on social media that pertain to selling your house 
and not the things where other agents are doing where it's when you get ready to sell your house, cut your grass, clean your windows, do this kind of crap. No, tell them about the purpose of a net sheet. Tell them about closing, what goes on, what actually happens at closing. Why do you need, you know, certain things? Um, keep them engaged, give them pertinent information. Um, should you do a pre-sale inspection? I mean, should the seller do an inspection before they list the house? Um, mm -hmm. Things along those lines. Give, the, give information, be the information bearer. And so with that, mm -hmm. you're going to get inbound, inbound leads. Yeah, I'm sorry about the interruption, but everything leads toward the realtor, you being the expert and educator. Exactly. Exactly. If you keep educating, they will come. Mm -hmm. So just keep doing that. Of course, the easiest button is the referral. The referral from past clients. Though yeah. That's the easiest. Yeah. And um, if you need money tomorrow, you're in the wrong business because realtors don't get money tomorrow. That is true. That is true. Well, thank you so much. This was very helpful and resourceful. Uh, I understand the power of videos, but I like it how you link it with the education, being the expert, and uh, basically continuously staying in front of your potential clients. If, uh, you are, if you are constantly doing videos where you're asking people for things, it's going to get old and boring and they're going to shut you off. That's why you've got to give free information yeah. on education to the public yeah i like that what is okay last detail <laughs> before i let you go what's yeah. the sweet spot how many videos per week would you recommend for realtors to create and and you said hey guys don't be afraid mike said they can be like two three five minutes long they don't need yes. to be like a uh, siri don't worry so yeah. how often would you recommend to post if you are really down on clients, prospects, and you need more, I would post every day. Oh, wow. If That's you intense. are, <laughs> if you are okay, okay, meaning you're closing two deals a month and that's okay with you, um, maybe you can do it three times, twice, maybe twice a week. But, okay. Not much. Okay. But if you don't have much of an inventory of videos, you got to make a few more. You you want right. to get a, you want to get some some videos, and you want videos for selling your house on your own. You want to get videos for preparing to sell. You want to get videos on steps, things that need to be done in order to ensure a sale. And then you want to do some marketing information, some marketing tips. And then you want to do uh, market um, update um, um, videos. And then you want to interview a few people, interview a an inspector, a lender, interview somebody from the title company, interview people that have just bought their home and say, hey, what surprises did you have? And people that are looking to buy, did you, are you buying the house that you told the realtor you wanted? You know, a, a two story with a pool and a 20 foot fence or whatever. No, there's an old saying, buyers are liars. Did you not buy what you were exactly looking for? And then tell them to be open to, you know, other suggestions for homes and such. So there's all kinds of videos you can make uh, all about the school district and don't do the crime stats, but do, you know, the <laughs> school and things like that. Maybe surrounding restaurants in different areas. Yeah, yeah. It can, I love it, absolutely. So guys, a summary, uh, if you are semi-busy, at least still find a time and block a time to do two videos a week. 
uh, in various categories from interviews about the neighborhood, what to avoid, what to do, what not to do, red flags versus green flags, uh, always come across as an educator and, uh, and an expert, right? So yeah, oh, definitely. Experiment. And if you are at the point when you are absolutely not busy, there are crickets, then make sure you do video a day. And the best way to approach it would be dedicate one day to shoot the videos for various topics and then have a, another day to edit it. And hey, you can always ask your kids to help you because, you know, they are just so quick doing everything on the phone and it's done in no time. And uh, be okay to uh, not be amazing at the beginning, but understand if you stick to it, you will become amazing over time, just like Mike. <laughs> and NAR, NAR put out a study, uh, I think it was, in 16 17 or 18 something like that where one third of all prospects that you get can turn into a client now what i mean by that is a prospect is somebody looking to buy or sell and it doesn't matter if you get them or not but the buyer or seller is either looking to buy a house also because they have one to sell, or if they're a buyer, they usually have a house to sell, or if they're looking to sell, they're looking to buy also. So you can get another buyer from a listing and you can get another seller from a buyer. Yeah. So yeah. think about that. That's even an easier way. Yeah. So do it. Videos are fast. Five minutes, I mean, you can talk five minutes without getting past hello. Yeah, so. and they're very powerful. And uh, clients, they need to like you and trust you to do a business with you. And the best way is to go in front of them with your face, hopefully smiling and solving problems they have or they might have in the future. And that's how it, you will get positioned into the level of an expert and educator. And if you have any other questions for Mike or anyone else from a Real Estate Rockstar Coaching Circle, please uh, let us know and we'll bring them to our Q&A. Mike, thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to see you soon. Bye-bye. All right, you're welcome. Bye-bye.